Lots of things to talk about today, and I'm just going to be breaking down wood for the shop's stove. First off, no, I didn't block you on TikTok. They have just deleted me again for encouraging unsafe activities, which of course is total BS. Smiths have to be careful about what we show because the censors will knock you off fast. Even Melissa Backwoods gets her videos taken down just for showing the knives she was sent. So my new, 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 new account is shown below. Follow me, or don't, it doesn't really matter at this point as it'll be deleted in a month or so. If you're wanting more daily content of mine, then the best place to follow is my Instagram. You will get more of the comings and goings, just more of me personally, rather than the distance YouTube seems to put between its makers and followers. Also, I know a lot of you don't like shorts, but we as makers have no choice. That is the way YouTube is going, and I left a virtual creator call because I don't want to focus on them, and ever since, my videos have been dying. So it seems like I have to play ball. So there will be more shorts, and mixed in with my future videos. If you're seeing this, make sure that you check that you're still subscribed to me on here, as a lot of you have came to me telling me that YouTube is back to its old tricks of turning off my follower notifications and straight up unsubbing people to me, so maybe give that a double check. Also check out these awesome videos that you might not even know were there. So what is coming up for the channel and all of my projects this year? Let's start to break it down. First off, you will all see a few videos that you've already seen be re-uploaded for two reasons. One, YouTube has decided that working in a tank top when it's hot outside is deplorable and you all need to be protected from the possible sin. So the videos they shut down I have re-edited to be safe for everyone's tender eyes. My dirty pillows won't hurt you as much in the future. And two, a band that gave a lot of people permission to use their music and their videos decided to change their minds after a lot of people used it and they turn their copyright stuff on. Which makes YouTube take away all money made and give it to them no matter that it's still my video and that we all had permission. My videos are awesome and they take a lot of work and effort to make. I'm not going to be giving the few hundred dollars I make a month on here to someone else because they decided to scam other makers. So watch the re-edits or don't, but they will be slightly different enough to be interesting to watch again, I hope. What is going on with the longship? Check out my playlist for the longship if you want to see where it is currently at, but I've been working on forging a lot and it's just sort of sat for the winter. I will be taking back up work on it in March. I have the lumber for the sides, and I will need to plane them down to make them easier to bend. I've never bent wood before, so it's a little intimidating, but we'll see. I'm currently working on a few sword videos. As I said, I've been forging a lot, and I do some cool things in my shop. I can't wait to show once it's done. A lot of you have also asked about how the TV show is going. For those of you who don't know, I did an interview with a company owned by Sony Pictures to be their blade expert on a show that is coming back on air. I was told that I was who they wanted, and given the details about flying out to LA, the shoot schedule, everything. Then nothing. No contact at all from anyone there. Either they went with someone else, or the project was scrapped. Either way, it was a pretty big letdown. It's really my own fault for letting myself get too into something before actually arriving on the set. Next to nothing is real anymore, sadly. But this year is going to be a good year. I have spears and axes planned, awesome smaller projects, and some cool woodworking. As always, leaning away from as many modern tools as possible. I have two sort of personal test videos planned, too. The first is I'll be doing a live video on every platform, hand forging a one million layer billet which next to no one believes I can pattern weld by hand because if they can't, with their strong man muscles, then how can I? They forget I have more experience in my left pinky than they have in their whole lives. So I figured I'll just put all of their crap to rest with a live video showing it with no edits, and then anytime someone says anything, that video will exist to put it to an end. The other video I have planned is something I've done several times before but not videoed, as well, I've been doing this over 20 years, and only recently online, so I will start with literally nothing, and go from just my two hands, to a tool set and a blade. People are always, and I mean always, crying online about how they can't afford to be a smith. It literally costs nothing to smith as long as you're willing to work. You don't need any fancy tools, you don't need electricity, you just need to put in effort, research, and time into getting these basic skills. But it seems people just want to punch their ticket from starter to master as fast as possible. I don't talk about other smiths' work. I'm not here to focus on that. 
But what's being pumped out recently into the digital marketplace? Woof. So much misinformation is being spread by people who have been doing this craft for six months, and no one respects experts anymore. It's all about who can talk the loudest and look the most rugged. The lies that are being spread to validate crappy work is now being seen as true and the standard. God help anyone who uses these blades in a life or death situation. So that leads me to my last point. I'm going to be doing more teaching online, showing people some of the right paths, giving the real knowledge about the history of steel and science. All of my college and adult life has been spent in real research with the right books, peer-reviewed documents, artifacts, and scientific work, not reading crappy Google search Viking lie articles paid for by the History Channel or some ancient alien stuff. So those of you who like the truth and facts, you are all in for a treat. I hope you all have a good day and that you are staying warm.